I want to talk today a little bit about why I'm so obsessed with Claude code. Now, most things that I'll be talking about in this video were already possible, most likely with Klein, etc. It's just um, Claude code. There's something about it that just seems to work better. And also because I'm using WSL, which is uh, Linux for Windows, instead of just my base Windows system. That's one thing. And then the second thing is inside WSL, you can actually activate Docker. So I'm not actually using the Docker MCP, but my Claude code has access to Docker, like command line commands, like terminal commands. So it can run things like it can run my Docker, etc., inside Claude code. Now, why is this so interesting and so amazing. Now, like I said, this was already possible with Visual Studio Code and Klein. It's just I wasn't doing it. Now, if you build something on Docker, it's actually much better because Docker is like a dev instance for what you're currently building. And it's also an instance or an environment that is very similar to a live environment on DigitalOcean or AWS or wherever you want to launch. So if you're actually running everything in Docker, it's to your advantage because you're gonna be running most likely on Ubuntu. And that just has like a much better way to connect directly to DigitalOcean and AWS. Now, the really cool thing about this, right, is when you're building a project, right, you have your project files, okay? And normally what me as a non-developer, what I was, doing and i expect many people are doing is they build a front end and in order to test things they click on all the buttons they make sure everything works you know they they go through this whole manual process what you can actually do with claude code instead is you can have an instance of docker and you can tell claude code to make you a test suite right i talked about in the, in the last video basically testing all of your workflows all of your scripts etc and you can have it run itself. So it will run the test suite inside Claude code, inside a Docker environment. It will then read the logs from the Docker environment and it will be able to read the very specific logs, right? And normally, even with Klein, what I was normally doing was manually copying and pasting this. Sometimes with Klein, you could do it where it wasn't manual copy paste. I'm telling you, Claude code is just a completely different experience for this. And what this essentially means is you can create, I'm using Pydantic. So I'm using Pydantic because it's quite an old system. So um, LLMs like Opus, etc. they already have knowledge of this, right? You can go to LLMs.txt as well and go to LLMs full text. If you wanna give all of the documentation in one quick like shot, what you can do is you can feed this right to Claude code. You can make sure that you've got Docker turned on, right? You don't even necessarily have to feed this, right? I personally don't think feeding things to LLMs works very well, but I understand some people think it's necessary. So you can feed this or you can just trust that it has this knowledge already. And you basically say, make me an agent that does this, use Claude Sonic 4, whatever. The agent has to do this. I expect the output to be like this etc etc and then just say run the test suite in docker with my system until everything until you're completely confident that everything is working and you don't have to worry about understanding docker you don't actually have to understand docker that's the beautiful thing about this once you have claude code right once you've installed claude code and claude code is not difficult to install you just need wsl you need two things you need wsl if you're on Windows or if you're on Mac, it's easy. And also you need to run the specific WSL that you've installed, not through Docker, right? So you have to install Ubuntu, like a base version of Ubuntu. You just do WSL install Ubuntu or something. I'm pretty sure that's the command. Once you've installed it, do WSL dash D and then whatever name of the distro that you're running. So Ubuntu in this case, right? And then you're inside Claude and you're inside WSL. Then install Claude Code. Again, it's not particularly difficult. Just go on Google, type in Claude Code install, click on the first link. Make sure you read this, right? If there are problems, make sure you read this. Give all of this to ChatGPT and just say, look, I've just opened up a new WSL terminal. So you go here, 
room light, obviously. You go to ChatGPT, you say, uh, I'm trying to install this on Windows. I'm trying to install Claude code on WSL, help me. Now, the reason you have to make sure that you're on Ubuntu is because the commands it will give you are for Ubuntu. You can see, open Ubuntu, it says right there. So once you see this, right, so WSL dash D Ubuntu, oops, you're good to go, right? Because now I'm inside Linux. All you have to do is work out how to install. So the first thing you should do is which node and which NPM. If you don't have these installed, make sure that you tell it that you need them installed, right? And then you just install this, install that, blah, 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 make sure it all works. Make sure this works. And then finally run this, do not use sudo. If you have a problem, read the, um, the things here, right? That's all you have to do. It's really not that difficult. Once you're inside Claude code, you can write Claude and you can say, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do it here. So you, you can open up Claude, pretend this is a new conversation. You can say, I want to use Docker inside uh, WSL. Can you help me set it up? I have Docker installed. I need you to be able to run Docker commands. There's one more step to this. You actually have to go to Docker desktop if you're on Windows um, and you have to go, let's go to settings on the top right. Go to, I think it's Docker engine, no resources, WSL integrate. Make sure this is turned on. Again, this is the name of the distro. A problem I had at first with WSL is that I had this high distro that it was running automatically because I had, um, I made it with Docker and I didn't realize and it was trying to run this. Every time I ran WSL run, it was running this one instead of Ubuntu. So that's why it wasn't working. So I had that problem. Once you've done that and you run this command, it'll set up Docker. Once it can run its own Docker commands and also do that with GitHub. So also set up GitHub, right? You can literally just code anything, guys. This is, this is a whole new world for me, right? I, I wish I had had this a year ago. This feels like something new. It's the most intelligent thing I've ever used. And when you have a really good like plan to implement a new feature, also, another thing is build step-by-step, step, right? And build with something simple like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Just build with something simple. Don't, I personally wouldn't use Next.js, feel free to, but, and then just step-by-step, step, add new features, add this, add database, add this, add this, add this, add this. And then at the very end of all of that process, you'll end up with something like this, which is just an entire system to automate Shopify stores that I built, right? And yeah, the, I mean, it, I, I wouldn't have been able to build this a year ago, basically. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. You can check all of this content out on my school community as well, if you want. And I'll see you very soon with some more content. Peace out.